Consulting. This is suitable for the business that does customized products and does services to clients. And each and every client engagement contract is different uh, between the customer group. So meaning that, for example, Dell Company sells computers and there's a button online you can see you can customize your own series of computers that you want to purchase. That's the type of business that we're talking about that's suitable for job uh, costing system, job order costing system. Why? Because the product I purchase may be different from the product you purchase. And since there are different features, for example, perhaps the video card is different, perhaps the capacity of the memory is different, monitor size is different, different features of products, the cost incurred in that order is different, so how you price it, how you collect sales revenue from customer and the amount will be different. So for customized products for batch orders, you consider using job order costing as more property method for these type of business. So as opposed to this concept, what process costing approach is suitable for is for the companies that does identical products and massively produce it. Okay, so for example, many examples you can think about. Coca-Cola's, soda companies, Oops. All the no. different snacks. No. I'm sorry? No. No. Um, Buildings. Okay. So that will also be an example. And also Procter & Gamble, the different products they have. Pretty much the products you can purchase from many different types of grocery stores. And as long as the label you see is the same, you can be ensured that when you purchase what's inside the bottle, what's inside the box, has the same quality. So those are not customized products. Those are made available, massively produced. So when we trace the costs for these type of business, we usually do not trace them by order, our customers order one by one, because it makes no sense to each of them has the same type of product. If I purchase a bottle of Coca-Cola, it's exactly the same as yours. So how we trace these costs, we trace them by the production line, by the different working stages. For example, Coca-Cola mixing department, mixing stage, we trace the cost of that department. Mixing the water with the ingredients, secret formula. Then we move into bottling department. Those ingredients bottle up into Coca-Cola um, shaped bottle. Next department would be labeling, putting a cap on it, ready for sale. So for these business process costing allows these business to separate the costs from different departments instead of tracing the cost to different orders. Because all these orders, you're giving them just different quantities of the same identical product. And we're focusing today, on Friday, we'll be focusing on job order costing system. Again, for customized services, for customized products, it makes more sense to calculate the cost per order instead of unifying the cost for different orders. Because all of them is different. Right? So how we trace them, we accumulate costs per batch, per job, instead of separating costs per process. That's the main difference. Customized services, customized products, falls under job order costing. Not customized, same product, identical, massively produced, falls under process costing. And these are just two approaches to get to the same goal. The goal is set the price for the product in order to set a retail price to gain sales revenue and generate profit. There are just two different approaches, but if they're reaching the same goal, setting the proper cost per order or setting the proper cost per product. You know, another example for job order costing, auditing firms. So big for auditing firms, they have different clients. Traded companies. So each and every client, their company size is different. But they're trying to how they operate their business is different. So the agreement of auditing their statements, what they're sampling, what they're determining as materials to sample more, is different and varies from different clients. So definitely the audit fee you're charging these companies will not be the same across public companies. It will be different case by case. This is another example. When you sign the agreement, Collecting a lot of fees, the standpoint of water firm.
firms, all each and every client's case is considered an order, a job. They're not costing the same because the cost is to audit them. 